In this short video, I'll be demonstrating a new product from iConstruct called Clash. Clash is a new, powerful, intuitive Clash management solution that sits on top of Autodesk Navisworks Manage. Clash bundles some of our most popular existing Clash management tools together into an efficient, ribbon-based UI for a faster Clash experience. Clash also integrates with Procore's Coordination Issues module. iConstruct Clash is located in the ribbon. As you can see here, iConstruct Clash. It's broken up basically into four different areas. We have group, review, viewpoints, and the Procore login. To demonstrate this, we're going to start out with the group. So we're going to select group. The group dialog box comes up. Up at the top, you can select your test. You can grab multiple tests. So I'm going to grab all three tests here. Then we have our templates. Now you can create your own templates, but we also come with predefined templates. So the one I'm using is zone, level, proximity with a five foot distance. Down on the bottom, we have our different categories that we can choose from. But this is already set up to say zone, my grid level, and a proximity distance. Now I can modify these. I'm going to select proximity. I'm going to select the distance. And I'm going to change that to say 25 feet. I'm going to go OK. I'll hit the save here, and now I'm going to go group. And this is going to go through and now group all my clashes. It says it's done, so I'm going to go OK, and I'm going to close. And now if I come over here to the Clash Detective, we'll now see if I go to the results, we can see the grouping. So I've got Zone 1, Level 4, Proximity Group 1. Now I'm going to go to the Rules tab here. Now we're going to review these clashes. So we'll go to the Review tool. I'll move the review tool off to the side, Let's zoom in here. And up at the top, we have a lot of icons. Down at the bottom here, we see all of our different groupings and you can see the number of clashes. So let's go ahead and select this clash here. It says 10 clashes. So there's 10 clashes in here. Well, maybe that's too many to have in one group. So we've got some selection options here. We can either select an individual item or by a window. I'm gonna select an individual item. Let's say that item there I do not want as part of this group. So what I can do is I can select that one item and I can click on this icon here, new group, and I've just now created a new group from that and it pulled it out from the others. So let's do this again with a larger group here. Let's grab this one, it's got 16 clashes. I may say I wanna create a group of just these here. So this time I'm gonna window it, let's window all of those. And now I'm gonna click on this to go group. And I've now just created another group right here called New Group 1. Now that I have this group here, I want to now do some redlining. So let's come over here and we're going to throw an ellipse around this. And we'll throw a little node in here. And I'm just going to say this is testing. And we'll go OK. Click over here to this next one. You'll see now I've created this viewpoint. So it's going to hold that for me. I now also want to change the status. So let's say it's active. Once I change the status, we throw a checkbox here. This check allows you to be able to create a viewpoint automatically or to upload this clash into Procore. Uh, we also give you the ability to add comments and these comments are saved. So if I wanna say lower duct, I could do that and it'll say the lower duct here. And the last thing we want to do is we want to assign a clash to someone. So here under the assign to, we can click in here and it will show you all the users assigned to the project in Procore if you're logged in. If you're not logged into a Procore project, you can just type in any name and it will remember that. So I'm just going to go ahead and select someone from the list. Once you do that, you can see now there's a checkbox here by viewpoint. So anytime that you change a status or assign it to someone, we automatically will put a checkbox here, letting the program know this is one that we want to upload to Procore or we want to create a viewpoint from it. We've done the review on it, so we want to do those two things. And now I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of this. I'm going to come back over here to Class Detective just to show you what I have. So right now I've got my colors set here for highlighting and I've got hide. So when I create viewpoints, it's going to use the settings from my Class Detective. So if I really wanted these to be dimming others, I would just make sure I set it on dim others. I'm going to go to rules here now. And now we're going to come over to the viewpoints button. So let's select viewpoints. So the Clash viewpoints dialog box comes up. So up at the top here, you select your template. 
We come with predefined templates already, but you can create your own. So I'm going to use the date, test name, and level. As you can see over here, it's the date, the test name, then the level. My viewpoints, whether you want to create viewpoints of the groups, individual clashes, or both, I'm just going to do the groups. Then down below, you'll see your tests, and there's only a little box in the structural versus HVAC. If I expand that out, you'll see that there's only one checked here. This is that one that I changed the status and the assigned to. Well, I'm going to say, let's just grab all the clashes. So all the tests and all the groups. And I'm going to click on Create. It doesn't take much time here. And now if I come over here to the Save Viewpoints, we'll now see there's the date. There's all the different tests. There's all the different levels. And then I can go in and I can select any viewpoint I want. And as you can see in there, it's graying out all the other items. All right. And the last button here is the Procore login. The Procore dialog box comes up. First thing we see here is the server. And then the company and the project, and they're blank at the moment. So I need to log in. If I click on login, and it remembers my login credentials. So I can pick my company. I've got my iConstruct here. The project I'm doing, so I've got one in here, Clash Test. Then I can assign this project to this file. So when I do that, go ahead and check this. It's going to ask me if I want to save the changes. I will. And so now it's going to associate this file right here to this project. And when you do that, when you now go into the review tool and I try to assign them to people, it will only show me the people assigned to this project inside Procore. So you can see this is all now grayed out. It's associated to that project. Down below, you see all the check boxes. These were the ones that I reviewed and I said I want to upload those to Procore. And then I just click on Create Issues and this will go through and upload these into Procore. And you can see down below, it shows you what your test is, how many issues you currently have, and the number of users. And this takes a few seconds here, but these will then be pushed up. And we do push up the exact view that you were seeing before in the review tool is what is uploaded into Procore. Your comments will go in as a description in the Procore issue. And there it shows you eight issues were uploaded. I'm gonna go okay, and I'll close this. This now concludes this short video on the new iConstruct Clash.